I'm here. You can't get rid of me. So I'll get you on special. <laughs> so, you know, I thought our kids, you know, I felt going into this, this football game was important. We got, we came out and we started fast. I felt we did that. Uh, it was also important we came out the second half and, and we did the same thing and we did that also. I thought we got into a little bit of a bump in the road there in the second quarter where we had a couple turnovers and it shouldn't have happened. You know, we fumbled the ball going the end zone there one time. It was ridiculous and had a couple turnovers. But for the most part, I thought we played pretty clean and, uh, you know, we're just looking. Got to put that one behind us now and get ready for next week. Senator Fire Coach, if you came into a game that you were supposed to win and those guys kind of produced. Yeah, that's what has to happen. I mean, you get into a, you know, I don't, you know th those games, to be honest with you, when you get a game like that, those are the ones that worry the most, you know, because you know, these guys are, they walk to class every day and they walk down the street and everybody's telling them how, how they're going to go win this football game and this team's not going to come in here and play and all that type of thing. So as a coach, you know, I worry more. I know a lot of people worry more about games like this today than you do, you know, big time games. But uh, the Death football team is going to be a good team. You got to give Todd credit. I mean, they played extremely hard. Uh, he'll get them going in the right direction. And, uh, but I'm just happy the way our kids came out and responded to what we did. Yeah. And even if you didn't like what happened in the second quarter, that's something tangible you can point to this week saying, and can guard against complacency. Well, you know, there's no doubt. I mean, like I said, you can't, you know, those things shouldn't happen. And we got to get fix it. just a couple of the issues that we have because it's important to come back here and play well next week. Doc, what about Rakeem? How did you think he played? Yeah, you know, I thought, with exception of the one turnover we had there, I thought he played well. I think we were 300 plus rushing, 300 plus passing, which is pretty. You know, I thought we were balanced with what we were doing, which helped us. But a lot of that was on him. You know, a lot of those he made a couple of great checks. That uh, we had some calls that were that were actually throws that uh, he checked the runs and a lot of the run pass options. He did a great job of. Of getting us in the right call, whether we run or take the pass off of it, and uh, he managed the game. I thought he was, yeah, not, not, but he, he managed it extremely well. See Grooms get that burst back. See Devonte Allen get in the end zone twice and, and get some confidence. It's a, it's a huge confidence boost for a lot of guys. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, Devonte, we've been waiting to see him. We need him to step up. I mean, he's one of those outside receivers that's got a lot of ability. That you know, he missed spring ball. He missed you know, part of camp, and you know, it's important because he's got the skill set to go outside there and give us what we want, along with Mumu. And, uh, and again, Grooms, I still think Grooms is, 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 is you know, where he was a year ago, but he's a lot closer. So, you know, when I thought Butler went in there and did a couple of things. So he's got to continue to, we're going to need them all. Uh, you know, got to, I told these guys we had five games in 27 days starting today. And uh, so there's a lot of games in, in a short period of time. And uh, we're going to need all these players to all seven down. Defensively, how pleased were you with uh, Gary Thompson coming up? He's a bit of an undersized guy, but it didn't let his undersized stop him. He's a, you know, Gary is a tremendous athlete that can run, and uh, he's hard to, he creates some issues coming off that edge, and he's very athletic, and, uh, you know, I don't know exactly how many sacks he had or pressures and all that, but he, he seemed like he was in that guy's face quite a bit, and that's good to see because we need to, we need to put pressure that quarterback. He stayed, he stayed home on that reverse this time, didn't he? He did, he did. You know what, because he got, what was that one game, I think San Antonio, what did he got, you know, it's, I mean, you know, he's taking coaching, he's a smart kid, he's, Doing now what his coaches do, and that was a big play for us. That was a, that was a critical, uh, you know, minus yard stop, and he did a nice job staying home. There, yeah. And Smock made a good point in, in the press box. Is that something that good defenders do? They just they they can learn from their mistakes and and, and come back on yeah, from those. Yeah, I mean, anytime you you know good players learn from their mistakes and, and don't do it again. Yeah, yeah, especially young players, you know, like him. And he's, he did that and, and again made a tremendous play there. The uh, show of respect when really came out <coughs> honored the uh, 98 team and everything went out and shook hands. Yeah. yeah, the offensive guys were all right there beside them and they kind of did it on their own. I mean, Cato and Chad were tight. And, uh, yeah, they, they, but they do respect them. I mean, that, that team, our team wants to, wants to do what that team did. Let's go win a championship. And, uh, you know, so those guys have great respect for those guys because they've done it. And they did it wearing the same uniforms that they're wearing. And I know they got great respect for that group and, and so on. Is that Dan? Uh, probably. It's, it sounds like something to do. I don't know that. He's, he's kind of like that. He does it. If you had uh, left Butler home at FAU, you said you weren't happy with him. Has he worked his way? Is he working his way into your good graces? He is. He is. He's taking care of the ball. And uh, he's, 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 that will be fine. Talk about the confidence boost that your guys had early on. The flip side of that, how important was it to crush the confidence of a team like that? Anytime you're playing a team like that, you, know, you don't want to. You want to. That's why it's important to start fast. 
you know, because uh, and I felt like that going in, that was one of our goals all week, is to make sure we go out and start fast. I felt we did that. But I think, again, the thing I was I was happy about, we not only did it in the first half, but we came out the second half and did the same thing. Stephon Houston comes up big today. He, you know, wasn't in on the tackles last week, and, and to have a big game out of those guys, he and uh, Daryl Roberts, you know, a couple guys standing out there today. Yeah, they all, I mean, I thought Stephon, I noticed him today, and uh, of course, Daryl's been playing well all year, so we've got to continue to, to continue to be better.